um, Diane Stone. I was a member of the Secretariat based in the World Bank Institute in 1999 that set up um, the Global Development Network. Um, and at that time we were all scurrying to find um, supporters and donors uh, to make sure that um, this big idea that we had would actually get off the ground. And of course, you know, finding funds a perennial problem for all organisations and networks, but it's great to see that the GDN has actually flourished over the past 20 years. But that's not to say that there aren't challenges. I think there are challenges for many knowledge networks uh, today, um, networks that are composed of scientists, researchers, analysts and thinkers. And one of those problems today is that we're in a post-truth world where the opinion of you know, someone on Facebook counts as much as the learning and training of somebody who's a highly experienced scientist can be um, not regarded in the same way and with the same kind of weight that was accorded in the, in the past. So there are some real challenges, I think, uh, for scientists, for researchers who are seeking to influence policy or shape policy or at least inform policy. So this is something I think that the GDN can do. It can act as a, a broker of knowledge between different communities and look to find ways to develop a more fruitful dialogue with those communities that are feeling oppressed uh, and as the losers of globalisation, uh, who think that experts are elites who do not listen to them, uh, GDN is the kind of organisation that might provide a bridge uh, in those kinds of debates and discussions in the future. Thank you.